Hey everyone, it's Sarah and Patrick from The Board Meeples, here to show you uh, how to play in under five minutes. This time, we're showing you Codenames Duet. Codenames Duet is a cooperative word game. The object of the game is for you and your partner to guess a total of 15 words in nine turns or less. Start by setting up a five by five grid of cards and laying out the timer tokens, the agent cards, and the assassin card nearby. Next, take a double-sided key card and stand it up in the standee so that you see one side and your partner sees the other. The key card is a small 5x5 five five grid that corresponds to the grid of cards on the table. There are nine green cards, which are the words to give clues for, and three black cards, which you want to avoid at all costs. The cards on your side of the grid are different from the other side, but some green cards will overlap on both sides. There are also some cards which will show green on your side and black on the other. When you receive clues, don't worry about what is shown on your side for the purpose of guessing, as the assassins and agents on your side are different from the ones on your partner's side. Now you and your partner will take turns giving each other clues based on your key card. Give a clue which is one word and one number, like this, bone three. The word will be associated with words on the grid, and the number is the number of cards that correspond to your clue. Be careful not to give clues that will lead to the cards marked in black, as those cards are assassins and uncovering them will end the game and you both lose. In our example, there are three words that this clue could point to, wishbone, collarbone, and skull. Uh, when making a guess, you will point to the card to indicate that's your guess. If it's correct, your partner will put a green agent on the card, and you will get to guess again. If you're wrong and guess a card that is black, you've uncovered the assassin and that game and the game is over. You both lose. If you guess a word that's tan, your partner will place a timer token with the arrow pointing toward the person who guessed, and the turn is over. If you've guessed correctly, you may guess as many times as you want and end your turn by taking a timer token and placing it green side up in front of you. It isn't recommended to guess more cards than the number indicated by your partner's clue. So in our example, it is recommended to end your turn after the three correct guesses. If you run out of timer tokens before all the words are guessed correctly, the game is over and you both lose. There are two blue timer tokens, which can be added in addition to the other nine if you find you're struggling to finish in nine turns or less. The cards in the grid are double-sided, so if you lose, it's easy to simply flip the cards over and try again. Once you complete the standard nine token mission, you're able to try more challenging missions by adding or removing timer tokens based on the mission map in the game box. The mission has two numbers. The first number is the number of timer tokens you get to complete the mission, and the second number allows you to guess clues that lead to innocent bystanders. So for example, a Cairo 9-5 has nine timer tokens, and five of those can be used on tan cards, which are called acceptable mistakes. There are also additional rules if playing with more than two people, which can be found in the back of the rule book. So that's all there is to it. Try out the game, let us know how you like it, or let us know if we missed anything by commenting down below. Don't forget to subscribe to see more how to play in under five minutes, you can check out the links in the description to see us playing Codenames or to check out our website. See you next time.